Hi everybody, I'm Bill Little and this is The Firewall. Science fiction writer Jerry Pornell has republished with his additional commentary a completely forgotten but far from forgettable book called Literature Reader, Sixth Year by Leroy E. Armstrong, published 1914. Literature Reader, Sixth Year by Leroy E. Armstrong is not a novel or a scientific treatise or a book on Mr. Armstrong's poetry. It's a textbook. It's a California textbook. It's a collection of written tales and their analyses, the basics of literature, story structure, and all the rest. That's it, and that's all. Now, on a whim, I looked it up on Amazon, and on another whim, I clicked on a random link and scanned the first paragraph that I laid eyes on, which read, Then Jason lighted the pile and burnt the carcass of the bull, and they went to their ship and sailed eastward like men who have a work to do. Three thousand years and more they sailed away into the unknown eastern seas, and great nations have come and gone since then, and many a storm has swept the earth, and many a mighty armament, to which Argo would be but one small boat. English and French, Turkish and Russian have sailed those waters since, yet the fame of that small Argo lives forever, and her name is a proverb among men. That's what sixth graders were reading 100 years ago in 1914, but if a college kid today graduated with a full and complete understanding of that one single paragraph, they'd probably be better educated than they are today after a quarter million dollars or so of student debt. Reduced to a movie, which would be about the only way to get a sixth grader to meet Jason and the Argonauts, today it would be pretty simple. Exterior wide shot, the beach. Jason lights fire to the bull. After a moment, his men turn and walk to the ship. Casting off the lines, they set sail out into the harbor. Close up, Jason. He looks out to see a look of determination on his face. Cut two. And that'd pretty much be it. But that's just the surface of the paragraph. That's just what you see with your eyes. That's all sixth graders in 2014 ever get, only the surface of everything. Because 100 years ago, those same age children would have imagined, they would have seen things in their minds, would have imagined the great ships setting sail for the Eastern Sea and then been shocked that the Greek author didn't talk about sailing for 300 miles, but rather for 3,000 years. They would have seen the mighty fleets of the English and the French and the Turks and the Russians, sailing ships, battleships, come and go, and only the small Argo remain on these waters of eternity. Only the small band of men in a little boat sailing across the ocean of history and legend like men who have a work to do. Now, for a random paragraph from an obscure textbook, that's a profound insight. No doubt it's why Leroy E. Armstrong decided to include it in his reader. The progressives have had to fight against that 1895 or 1914 level of education, and it hasn't been easy for them. It took them at least half a century to win this struggle for stupidity, elimination of standards, grading on the curve, the self-esteem movement, new math, gender studies, speech codes, and all the rest. The detritus of the battle against educated citizens in harness to the socialist paradise that is so obviously doomed to failure. Well, it's obvious to people who know math, history, and economics anyway. And now with Common Core, soon it'll be against the law for your child to hit the jackpot against all odds and end up with a Leroy E. Armstrong teaching them. No, the final battle in the struggle for stupidity will be to make it illegal to be taught anything other than standard state stupid. They have succeeded in taking a generation that went to the moon with slide rules, doing the math in their heads, to a generation that's amazed to discover that the movie Titanic is actually based on a true story. And through it all, through the rise and fall of England and France and Turkey and Russia and now us, the United States of America, the Argo just sails on alone, unread, undiscovered, waiting for a time when people begin to search for her once again. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to visit us at truthrevolt.org.